Hi! So, it's been 5 days since the last video called Fansign and I still feel like unreal um, but I'm here going to answer you guys questions I asked you guys if you guys have a questions um, about the fan call on Instagram so I received a lot you guys seriously there's so many questions that you guys asked me so I'm going to answer it here let's start with the first question macam mana boleh dapat masuk fan call sekarang Shopee Malaysia dah start buat the video call event they usually do it with three country macam yang this one Malaysia, Philippines and Singapore you guys have to have you guys need to have like Twitter sebab they always update about the fan sign event ni dekat Twitter tau that's how I know about it and how that's how I get in sebab they tweet about the event on the day the album and the songs release so macam TXT ni album freeze release on the 31st May second question how many albums did you bought for fan sign this questions Sangat banyak eh, sangat ramai gila orang tanya How many albums I beli um, So, I bought 8 album And there's a reason Why I bought 8 And also, by the way Semua 8 albums tu is not mine 2 je Out of 8 albums are mine Because If I won, if I win the video call fan sign I need to have an album so I bought it for myself too and one extra just for fun <laughs> and the other six albums are my customer because I opened a small group order um, it's based on my budget so I only open until eight slot because I mean like six slots lah because dual slots I punya kan so yeah I bought lapan sebab um, chance one said that eight is a good number. Um, so I put my child okay lah. I put my entry eight times, and that's how I got in. I I beli lapan album. Yeah, below ten. So it's basically based on luck. Um, they much tak tak kesa beli berapa banyak pun albums. It's literally depend on luck. They memang lucky draw gila. So yeah. I have a friend yang beli satu album je and dia dapat masuk for the video call fan sign. So next one. How was the process? Starting from buying album to Kakao Talk and someone asked how how does the process? Was it leche or smooth je? Okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna hmm, a little bit story time I guess about this. I think like Dorang buka around two weeks. Dorang open event two for two weeks, and uh, Dorang kakak minta order ID, so I beli separate ID. So macam I tak beli all on the same day. I try of uh, first day tu I I masuk I join. Pas tu I macam selang berapa hari I join lagi. So macam pas tu macam it depends on my customer yang beli yang tolong I ni kan yang beli um, so macam bila dorang dah bayar I terus quickly beli so oh oh yeah dorang masa dalam form tu google form tu dorang ada minta your kakotalk username id no id kakotalk id um, you guys have to put the active kakotalk id kat situ sebab um, after dorang dah announce the winner first uh, nanti dorang um, pihak kakao talk I don't know which pihak is that but akan DM you uh, akan like message korang message akan message korang um, through the ID yang korang bagi so if it's not active what's the point kan you guys rugi je lah so that's that um, kakao talk just like message I don't know why they have like macam enam chat but 
I have six. Orang akan hantar Google, satu Google form ni macam bagi tahu the inquiries, the TNC, terms and condition about the fan sign, uh, apa yang tak boleh buat apa semua lah semua tu. And then you just have to submit it and then that's basically it. Leceh or smooth tu to me macam it's not that leceh pun, it's not leceh at all. And it's, it's, it's even smooth because it's pretty easy to contact them. Uh, if you have a question, you can you can ask based on the one yang diorang cakap lah. Macam, diorang, macam I punya tu, diorang kata if you have any questions, you can ask the artist message 5. So, I ask them, uh, when is my turn for the day? What did you say to them? Uh, so, you guys already see the video. That's basically what I say to them. And there is like some miscommunication too. Only Taehyun because he's the first one for me to talk with, and uh, my mind just went blank. Even though I have script, but we have like some miscommunications because I can't hear what he said and everything. I don't know why, but yeah, it was like. I don't know. I but I think everything's went smoothly because when I look at it when I look back at my script, um I actually said almost everything that I wanna say. <laughs> what language you use to talk with them? This one Ramai Gila Tanya juga. I am not fluent Korean. Ramai Gila young I am fluent and how did I learn Korean and all I'm not good at it I just know some basic I can understand but I'm it's so hard for me to reply it back okay uh, I use English but I do prepare Korean because it's just it's just it's, it's fine if you prepare a little bit in Korean they, they will understand it right because it's their language so I suggest you guys to prepare a Korean language in your script because you know if you can talk with them it's much better again like the best like the best how long you get to talk with each of them basically um, one minute 60 seconds per member but usually if you pandai ambil peluang you boleh dapat like one minute something something most of the members um, I dapat cakap dalam 1 minute 20 seconds 1 minute 15 seconds except for Subin um, lama sikit um, it's like 1 minute 28 <laughs> this question how you feel uh, after the fan call I still feel like did I just talk with them even until now I'm still like questioning myself like I've already talked with TXT. I've already talked with them. It feels unreal. <laughs> it's like because they are my ultimate, and getting the chance to talk with them is like the best experience ever. So, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful. No, no. <laughs> How are you feeling before the call start? To be very honest, the <clears throat> like a week before the fan call, I was super nervous every night, every single night because I watch like video experience. Uh, video experience on YouTube I seriously super nervous and I, I'm like afraid if on the day of the video call fan sign I'll be that nervous but on the day of the video call I have a count test in the morning and then yeah before that I, I wasn't super nervous but the time they call me that time I, I'm like literally shaking Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say what you've been practice? Oh yeah. Um, 
basically I did say everything that I want there's some part that I couldn't say it because of the lack of time the thing is even though you guys memorize the script earlier or like before the day of the video call and things like that on the day during the video call you guys probably won't remember it at all i don't know if it's just me but i can't i literally not remember anything i keep on looking at the script during the video call next can you share how you record the call and the voice see i record this um cam this camera record my phone so i i put my phone on another mini tripod and then an i put another phone so i put the the phone like under under this speaker like I put the phone like this kan untuk video call sebab if you screen record the video call memang takkan dengar I've practiced it with my friends so that's how it and then transfer the audio when you done edit your video too so that's how it works and how I record my video call I screen record just about iPhone ada those screen record things next how do you prepare script this one um i pun actually tak tahu nak cakap apa dengan orang i keep on thinking like why should i sit with to them like what what's the thing so some uh, i had to think about the orang punya cover song um pastu i do some <laughs> research um i watch a lot of video call experience on youtube you guys should watch it too because it's really fun to watch it and like i get to know what the arts to their idol and also i do some research on twitter um on what moas have already asked to txt because i don't want to ask the same questions i learned something but anyways yeah that's how I prepare my script. Kita tentukan member atau random. Um, this one, kalau dah dapat lima orang buat apa kita nak tentukan member? Right? For TXT, they orang buat all members. You dapat all members. So kalau you menang, you dapat cakap dengan semua macam I, macam I. Tapi yang for seventeen, orang you boleh pilih which member you nak join for. So, so basically, you beli berapa banyak album, you dapat cakap dengan seorang je. Tapi dia punya limit, um, bercakap dia dua minit. Tak macam yang satu minit yang macam TXT nak. So, it's really depends. Before the before the D Day video call, did they ask like snap IC or to see your face for confirmations? So I believe actually Shopee tak pun akan DM you untuk minta gambar IC or something like that tapi dorang kali ni um, DM kita orang DM the winners to send our IC photo um, dekat Twitter 6 days before 6 days or 5 days before the video call event dorang minta gambar IC sebab kan ada one case ni yang foreigner it's not Malaysian pun yang join event tu and dia menang ramai gila Malaysian mua buat report pasal benda tu and that's why orang minta IC sebab nak confirm nak confirmkan yang every winners are Malaysians fan call tu self record ke or nanti dah habis call orang hantar video so this one um, obviously you guys record sendiri they will not Help you guys record it and everything. Uh, Michi, nak tengok script about fan call tu boleh? This is the script. So you guys want to see my script. So this is all, uh, these are all my scripts. You guys can see all the highlighted um, words. So highlighted ni, yang warna hijau, I buat macam not really important to say. But if I have time, I can say it. So yeah. Then kalau yang yellow ni pula, 
um, apa yang I kena cakap if after dia respond. And then kalau yang the blue highlighted right here, I buat tu as my apa ni? Um, kalau I nak tunjuk apa-apa macam my plan for the TikTok trend tu, I tunjuk the gesture on how to do it and also I I ada nak tunjuk, I I ada nak ajar dia bahasa Melayu and the highlighted colour pink ni it's basically benda ni lah yang highlighted warna pink tu it's it's easy for me lah I don't know if you guys should do this or not, you guys can do it in point juga untuk like apa yang korang nak cakap maybe that will be easier depends on how you guys prefer and selesa yeah oh also um this yang Malay words tu I I bubuh in a kertas lain different kertas I buat kecil je selalunya I tengok orang buat macam satu kertas A4 tu diorang buat besar tapi macam besar macam ni pun diorang dah nampak dah so I buat empat empat member cakap bahasa Melayu tapi Yeonjun tak cakap bahasa Melayu and also Yeonjun and Taehyun Eh no, Taehyun did but not the one yang I prepared So <laughs> Yeonjun je tak cakap bahasa Melayu So this is my um, Malay words paper yang different What's your most favorite moment during the fan call? Okay, if you guys know <laughs> uh, my, One of my video One of my video call with Yeonjun viral going blow up like literally blow up so that's that's the the one of my most favorite moment because um uh, at first i was like i sh maybe i tak nak buat kot yang the ohung thingy because i macam maybe tak perlu include tapi i last minute letak juga i macam why not why not to yonjun okay so that one that one memang one of my most favorite moment because he is literally so cute and he's he didn't hesitate to do it at all yeah that's one of my favorite moment and also the one yang hi bestie of course <laughs> that that's like my most favorite moment during the video call because I've been wanting to hear a uh, bomb you say hey bestie to me because I keep on claiming him as my bestie because we are the same age. And yeah, that's that's the best thing, oh my gosh. Uh what first reaction you after meet your K-pop idol? Obviously, still rasa macam tak real. Still rasa macam <laughs> Sampai sekarang pun bila tengok bayi kan Pasal saya macam I tanya diri saya macam That's me I cakap dengan TXT already TXT know my existence already So dia macam Macam tu lah <laughs> Dah lah ultimate kan So macam <laughs> Next uh, Boleh tak share preparation tips Untuk fan call ni Sebab I don't know what to do If one day I menang So tips dia at least have money to buy the albums obviously and then um, if you win um, you probably need to prepare scripts no to me macam it actually depends but I genuinely are nervous easy to be nervous and if I nervous I literally tak tahu nak cakap apa so that's why I prepared scripts about in case if I memang tak memorize it I boleh check on what I have I wanted to say. Kalau sebab I tak boleh go randomly ask questions like that. So that's another tips. Prepare scripts. It depends on you guys. If you guys like memang jenis boleh um randomly ask question then you guys don't have you don't have to prepare a script at all. But if you need then prepare it. Another tip is you guys must have great line internet line if not it's not fine because you will see them like freezing the screen will be freeze a bit and like it's not fun it's not fun make sure you guys have like a good wi-fi a good internet data connection. like internet connection please that's the main main 
And I think that's all for the tips. That's not much. Um, also, it's not important to have like tripod to put your phone, but I just have it because I I love to have this all this equipment because it's easy for me to record a lot of things. Also, oh, also the another tips. Make sure you guys have lights, lighting. Lighting is quite important because they will see you, girl. This is time to shine. <laughs> this is your first time meeting TXT, right? Yes. After two years, I am a pre-debut more. I am pre-debut more, and I've been wanting to see them for so long. And this is the time. Like, I've I've joined a lot of video call fan sign for them. I've joined like a lot of events too, but I always didn't get in for TXT. I, I I've joined a lot for TXT, but I've always been that unlucky more. And this is it. This is like the best time ever I got video call with them. Any moments with Subin? My time with Subin a little bit like longer because the first um when he appeared when it's his turn um ha apa? I can't hear him. Dia punya side dia tu dia mute the call. So I can't hear what he said. So we um, he kind of like try to solve it and everything so and then after that there's some few seconds here but so I dah dapat bercakap dengan dia so because of that I'm not really nervous um starting from Subin I'm not really nervous um about it so thanks to him <laughs> also okay next no next how does it feel talking to Subin another Subin question Okay, so uh, it feels good. I only dapat tanya dia satu question je. I, I actually have two questions to ask, but I only have I only got the chance to ask him one question, and uh, that's about the Netflix. <laughs> but it's fine. I actually, I, I I got to know what he watched recently. But yeah, sebabkan dia tak tahu cakap English sangat, so jadi perbualan tu lama gila. Lama, literally like satu minit tu I cakap pasal tu je Tapi I sempat ajak dia capture time So It's good, it's good Also I sempat thank you so much to the translator Because Diorang macam bagi time sikit Helping Subin And all First reaction diorang after tengok you Of course Semua senyum, semua senyum Sebab like We literally like Hi, annyeong sayo Annyeong And like that So everyone smiling Literally even me, I can't stop smiling at all. Uh, next question. Which member you are most comfortable with and why? Hmm. Which member? I think Bomgyu and Yeonjun. I don't know, I know. I think I can be comfortable with Daehyun. But because of we have like a little bit miscommunication. So that's for my first experience. I think I will. I can be comfortable with him if I got another chance okay but for the first experience I am most comfortable with Yeonjun and Bomgyu because they speak English really well and it's not uh, no oh wait hold up with Hyuninkai yeah <laughs> uh, actually three of three of them Hyuninkai Bomgyu and Yeonjun because he didn't is English speaker, so he probably understand everything I said. And my script for him literally just English. So, um, I'm not like. Also, he's the last member though, so I tak nervous sangat dah. But dia, so jadi macam conver apa conversation tu macam lagi okay and better. So that's how. That's why I feel like it's more comfortable with him. And Bomgyu, of course, because we are 2001 liner. So, I think we have like those same energy things. And they put Lion like super nice. And he answered my questions. So, it's just it's a fun, 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 fun. First, with Yeonjun, so but they match up. I don't know. I don't know. Yeonjun. No, I don't know. Yeon, Yeonjun comfortable. I don't know, he's just so cute. 
<laughs> I don't know. Lepas ni sumpah nak belajar bahasa Korea. So that I can feel comfortable with all of them. Tak payah fikir dah nak buat skrip bahasa English ke apa. And lastly, last question. I'm at the last question. Um, your mom knows about this? Um, yes. She knows about this. And she's very happy to know about it. Like, she's, she said that I'm lucky to get this. And like, yeah, she knows about it. And I'm glad they tak macam, you know, like other parents. <laughs> She's she's really literally fine with it, with the video call, and she knows about how I spend my money and all. She's basically don't care about it. Yeah. So that's all for the questions that you guys asked me. Another question from TikTok said that is it real? It is real. It is real. I don't have my time to edit and being delusional about the video call because. I'm 20 years old already. Why do I have to do that kind of things? It's tak penting. If I didn't get in, then I don't want to be like that kind of person. Edit my video, like a video call things. So is this real? It's not fake. And I put a lot of efforts for this video call. So yeah. Also, I want to say thank you to all, to my friends. I want to say thank you to my friends who helped me to translate some parts of Korean um, for my co Korean script and also I want to say to all everyone that helped me um, saying good luck and everything you guys are the best I feel like a lot of people manifesting me to get in this video call this Bye time <laughs> so uh, I feel grateful I'm so 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 happy a lot of people like Good luck, Michi. Good luck, Michi. Good luck. I hope you get in, blah, 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 and everything. And also, my friends, like, literally manifesting a lot. Like, literally every day, she always said about it. Don't ask my boy, you guys. Okay, thank you for my videos going blow up <laughs> on TikTok. Literally, my videos on top tier list um, on Magic TikTok Audio. Their official TikTok audio. I'm like in the top ten list. The 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 Yeonjun one. That's that's pretty insane. Literally, thank you for all the supports that I've received these days. <laughs> thank you so much. Also, thank you so much to people who support my small group order. I will do it again if one day if, if Shopee do another video call fan sign for Stray Kids or TXT maybe. Okay, that's all for my Q&A fan call and I hope you guys enjoy my vlog experience. I don't really vlog much. It's um, so... I hope you guys enjoy all everything and this video probably be so long so bye bye thanks for watching Annyeong! do you still know me? mom is my bestie <laughs>